Johnson from the I'm Never Wrong studio. It's the Walton and Johnson radio program. Do what I say. And demand it. Didn't work. Nobody said doing what they I said. They named it before we got here. It was some other guy. Yeah. He was in here before this. Yeah, it's, uh, some smart ass. Yeah. I think these radio smart asses. So, Roger Goodell, in his infinite wisdom, has made a rule in the National Football League that specifically lists all the rules, all the moves that a man cannot do after a man celebrates a sack or a touchdown or a momentous moment like swatting down a pass or doing something big, and then they make their signature move. Roger Goodell has said, well, not only am I not going to let you make your signature move, I'm going to list the signature moves each individually in a list. You can't do this. You can't do, you can't especially do the military salute. No saluting. You cannot do the 360 spin. You can't do a moonwalk. You can't do soaring like a bird with your arms out. You can't do that. Um, sack dances. Home run swings. The home run swing is definitely out of the ball spike, ball spin. Now, the ball spin had to be corrected. That you, you can do a ball spin on a touchdown as long as you don't ball spin in somebody's face. And I know it's a start to sound kind of pornographic, but if you ball spin off to the side away from others so that it's not unsportsmanlike, that ball spin seems to be allowed. This is cutting back on celebrations. This is, uh, the, the problem here is, Hello, Roger. How you doing, buddy? Here's the problem, uh, Roger. You're going to have to keep adding to that list. Because these guys in the NFL, they see the list go, well, wait a minute. Simulating masturbation isn't on the list. Uh, striking a Muhammad Ali boxing pose and then boxing it out is not on the list. Doing a, a 180 martial arts kick is not on the list what about robotic can you just robot like three seconds worth of you know, simulating jump roping is not on the list <laughs> cat clawing I want a cat claw so in every, space so every know? week you're going to have to be going back to the list to add new stuff uh, to the list you can't do that yeah well how uh, about this Roger what about that Aaron Rodgers belt celebration I never got that I don't know what that yeah. belt thing is all about I don't know what the J.J. Watt's doing either when he seems to like open up his pants does this thing where he, like, does open. I think it's supposed to be the Superman reveal your, uh, pull in your chest. Yeah, he does this, this pull-back reveal thing, and then he snaps the, he, it's a two-part deal. J.J. Watt also does the salute thing. And well, that's, that's, that's it. Well, now, but see, this is up for grabs, because I'm reading the story here, and it says, don't worry, fans, uh, the salute is still going to be done. Players will still be able to salute, uh, dance, shimmy on the football field, but not as often. Not with the same, what, what is there, a, a number of Mike, times you can do me, it? the commissioner of the National Football League, now before it's just, too late. Goodell is just awful. All you have to do, you can everything. When you're in the, you, you're the commissioner, you control everything. You control the TV coverage. You control what they cover with the cameras. You control where they can put the cameras. All you have to do is just tell everyone who's doing the coverage, cut away. After a guy makes a sack, or makes a touchdown, don't follow him around for 45 seconds. Once he makes the touchdown, cut to the bench. Show all the players cheering. Cut to the quarterback. See his face as he does his, holds his hands up in the air. Well, whatever you do, do not follow the guy that just made the touchdown or the guy that just made the sack because he's going to do his gorilla march down the field where he does that gorilla thing 10 yards past where he just, it's, you stop covering it. And it doesn't make it to the broadcast, and it doesn't show up on the ESPN. If it's not on television, A, it doesn't bother anybody, and B, it's going to go away. Sports Center later that evening, there's no replay of the guy's gorilla walk after the sack. The guy is not going to put out that extra effort. The coach doesn't want him doing it anyway, because half the time they hurt themselves or they do something. They pull a groin muscle doing the gorilla walk down the field. It's just a stupid waste of energy. So when they do that... They'll do it for a while, and then they'll call Grandma after the game. You see me do my big gorilla walk in? No, I was watching it. They didn't cover your gorilla walk. It didn't even get on TV. Wait a minute. I did my gorilla walk after the sack, and it didn't go. No. They cut away and showed the quarterback shaking hands with somebody or something. And, and then they showed the coach's face, or they showed the crowd cheering. 
your gorilla walk didn't make it on TV. The the ruling seems to be, well, well, like with the ball spinning and with the saluting, it seems to be whether it's done to be hurtful. If you hurt another's feelings, that's what the NFL is saying is wrong about football. The no fun league, they call it. If you salute, like J.J. Watt, for example, slaps a ball down or uh, sacks the quarterback, if he stands over the fallen quarterback and he salutes at him, well, that's a penalty. If he salutes away from him, that's probably going to be okay. But it's all going to be determined by the referees. And, you know, let's say a referee decides he didn't like one guy or didn't like one team. That decision could be affected. Television, Roger. Not players. Television is the key to everything. They don't care about those 70,000 people in the stands. Well, they do. I mean, they like it. They may do it for a while, but after a while, when they realize none of it's making it to television, that'll be the end of it, Roger. Roger, you don't listen. That's your main problem, isn't it? They actually list one of the moves <laughs> dancing like Pee Wee Herman. Who does the Pee Wee Herman? I'm not real sure. I, I missed that one. <laughs> Are they sure it's not the, the Brimley dance from Saturday Night Live? You know, where you put your knees together and you twist a little. Um, there's also a guy, there's, I don't know who he is, there's one of them from the Buffalo Bills who was featured on this video. Probably the reason it is. Yeah. The, uh, the quarterback was still on the ground while the dancing like Pee Wee Herman occurred. That's uh, maybe rule clarification from the NFL. But also, if, if they're going to do a dance over the quarterback while he's just been sacked, maybe you put in a chance for him to defend himself. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Oh, he gets to carry a box cutter and cut your Achilles tendon while you're dancing around his head. It's this move. You know, the, uh, the, the hands in front, the hands oh. behind. It's the tequila dance. Well, J.J. does that, too, before his salute. <laughs> but he, he just does it once, like a one-pump thing back. And then the salute. Yeah. It's very complex. These, these uh, many guys are hiring like Broadway choreographers now to help them work out special dances and moves. Like I said, take the TV away from them. Now all that'll stop because why are they going to put in the effort? How ridiculous is this that this is listed as part of the rules? The Pee Wee Herman dance. Uh, you're doing that in the face of an opponent, and it's just hurt feeling. Also, one is. may not imitate a bat. <laughs> You may not imitate a bat at any time. You may not hold your butt cheeks and say, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> it's just going to turn around and pretend to spread your cheeks towards an opponent. Like, mouth at him with your butt. Oh, wow. That is, uh, do you not see the folly of that ridiculous line of approach? So you didn't have to name all the stuff. You didn't uh, have to come up with a bunch of special rules. All you had to do was tell the directors of all of the networks to take the camera off. It's not these guys. Part of the show anymore. It's not in the show. If they if they do it and they come back and they watch ESPN highlights and they notice that they didn't get on television, they're gonna stop doing it. That's right. You know what gets on television? Football stuff. It's not Broadway. We're not doing a we're not doing a dance show here. It's football I got, stuff. I got an idea. I got a plan. I, if y'all hadn't thought of this yet, uh, and then well, just know that your idea will be wasted because nobody's listening to us from the NFL. It's kind of uh, like fixing the illegal alien uh, stampede across the border. They really don't want to fix no, it. No, because we know how to fix it. it, it it's like it's not taking, a fence. It's kind of like taking cameras off of the players acting stupid. You take the game show prizes, you take all the freebies away from them, and the stampede's really going to slow down. No unemployment, no welfare, no food t stamp tickets, no. My plan for the NFL and Roger Goodell can uh, pay me for this later, and whatever he thinks it's worth, uh, you know, several thousand, I'm sure. The minute the play is over, action has stopped, the whistle has blown, before the celebration can start, you have one camera dedicated, one guy dedicated to being ready with the shot. And the minute you say, give me camera six, camera six is always pointed at cheerleaders. That's the minute the play is over, whistle blow, boom, cheerleader is on my screen. Now, they do their go reel of walks and their salutes and all that other stuff, 
I'm watching the girl with the pom poms. Uh, if, if, if you make it too predictable, then the cheerleaders are going to start doing special dances for the Excellent. <laughs> Show me something, honey. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not going to be flattery. They don't know that the cameras are coming. And see, it'll be a different cheerleader. It could be one. It could be a group. It could be a... Okay, so they don't know which one is going to... They're going to focus on it. It could be overhead showing us uh, some kind of dance move. The guy could be laying on the ground sometime looking up at him, you know, with a different angle, different approach. How about a shot of a guy making uh, the unsung heroes? A shot of a guy uh, handing out beer, making a hot dog. Go, go, go. The, the, the unsung heroes of the game. You know? yeah, I think people are going to stick around no longer if they can just count on seeing a cheerleader. By the way, they're not cheerleaders. They're dancers. They, yeah. There's no chick going on there. They, I mean, they may be saying something, but who cares? Remember the time we got the real cheerleaders, man? Uh, the Saints used to have both the Saint stations and real cheerleaders. Most teams don't, though. They just have that answer. Yes. That's, the Saints don't anymore uh, either. They got rid of the cheerleaders. Because nobody cared. The real cheerleaders were skilled acrobats. Right. And the Saint stations were. That's high school yeah, stuff. For co for bros, we want to see some TNA out there. That's what we're there for. Maybe we need to bring back a show on the sidelines where you got acrobats doing all kinds of stuff. They'll throw each other up in the air. Maybe some juggling, some sword swallowing, or some fire breathing. Or like I said, just bring it back to.